of it's probably mental. You don't like dark places that are wet and uh, you're claustrophobic. You have a bunch of phobias and stuff, but it's not going to be the place for you. Hey, good morning everyone. So we're at uh, Vulture City. We're joined here by Brett. And uh, this is really cool. He's a big fan of the show. And what they're doing here is this. There was a, the biggest gold mine thing in Arizona was here, eh? Yeah, it was supposed to be the most productive gold mine in Arizona history. And uh, so the, the guy that owns all this is actually a Canadian guy. So uh, he's spent a whole bunch of money restoring all these buildings. And Brett is a curator. So he's done a great job. There's all kinds of artifacts in the desert from this huge mine and kind of putting everything together. And the reason that we're here is um, they actually bought uh, an acre of land here that's got this shaft uh, um, and it's all kind of fallen in and uh, nobody's been in there for a very long time. So I've uh, uh, volunteered some of my time to uh, do some, run some equipment and we're going to pull all the stuff away from the shaft. It's very unstable and we like to make it so uh, we can have a look in there and show you guys what's in there. There's 20 miles of workings underneath here and we're up against a, a modern gold mine so we, we can't um, go in there or anything. So. Um, yeah, just a fascinating story about this uh, about this whole area. All right, this is the nickel shaft. We'll be heading down there in a few minutes. But before we do that, we'll take care for a little tour of the neighborhood. So it's kind of an interesting situation. So this uh, historic uh, museum and all these artifacts and stuff are right up against a modern operating gold mine. And we can't get any access uh, to the mine from the mine part, but we can through the museum. So this is the tailings pond as we kind of look over there. These are all the other buildings that are uh, associated with the mine. Right in the very middle there, they have a ball mill there and a flotation. And not really a flotation, more of a plaster setup where they're using water to separate the gold. And there's the old, uh, the open pit and stuff. And what they've done is uh, where the decline and everything was, they filled that all in. And they're just operating from the surface. They're not doing any underground uh mining anymore because uh, you know just too expensive to do that so this is the old historic part and then um, so this is where the old mill was where they had the ball mills and stuff from years ago and this is a leech pond there and there's all kinds of real cool buildings but we weren't able to go into there but we flew the drone over it because uh, well they don't own the air above the mill so look at all the cool artifacts and uh and engines and stuff you can just by peeking in through there um, if you look at the very top of this building, there was a, a railway that went to the very top there and dumped all the ore from the mine into this big building. This was a big bin, and there was ball mills underneath that, and then they processed the ore from there. And all these buildings, just show they're, they're demolishing them all because they're expanding the open pit. So I think it was pretty important to get in here and um, you know document this before it all gets demolished. There's an arras just right in the very middle there you can see. And that other square building was actually the gold room uh, that had a bunch of bars and stuff on the windows that they, uh, um, yeah, to the left there you can see that. That was a gold room. That's where all the gold was. It was had bars and stuff and guards uh, where they I had all the gold and stuff when they're processing it. So this is all the buildings, uh, the concentrator and uh, and the mill and stuff that they had here. And you can kind of see uh, some of the old engines and some of the artifacts here. It's a real shame that um, I don't know these modern gold, uh, they, they seem to be just kind of uh, bulldozing and everything over and uh, and they've given a little bit of this stuff to the museum, but uh, not as much as they could. So, you know, we're trying to document this before it's all gone. And it might even be all gone by the time you watch this video. So, again, this is where the uh, ball mills were. There was two big ball mills in there. And, no, I'm sorry. This is where, yeah, the ball mills were in this part. So, the bins to your right, there was two big ball mills in there that fed that. And it went through the flotation cells. And you can see another uh, old steam engine in there on uh, the other part there was a big compressor there the compressor is gone i think they sold the compressor to the museum it's in the museum now um, but you can just kind of see the bed of the compressor so lots of cool old buildings here and it's kind of really neat flying over it and uh like i say there was about five thousand people here this is a big and very rich gold mine here so this is uh this is vulture city this is the museum part of it and uh, they spent two million dollars fixing all this stuff up all these buildings were completely, you know, pretty much just all in ruins. And this guy, this guy bought this and he spent a lot of money, um, you know, just uh, restoring everything. So 
uh, as we're flying over, uh, we'll show you a bunch of these buildings and stuff, and we're not really going to go into them at all. Um, there's all kinds of uh, real cool Western stuff in there. Uh, there's a brothel, the doctor's office, and all that. And there's a complete assayer's office, all kinds of artifacts. They've done a great job. This is the, the decline, the winch for the decline. So there's the hoist and the decline. So um, it's a little funny because you look at that, you see there's an arc or cart on the on the decline, which there never would be. There'd be a skip car. An ore cart doesn't work for that. And the very end of that uh, decline, they've just scabbed that on there. That's not original. That's uh, so light that it would never uh, never uh, hold up. But, uh, you know, the original part of that, the uh, you see the, that, the heavy part in the middle, that what did actually come right out of the pit. Um, so the, uh, the, the mine let them take that out of the pit, and then uh, they set that up there. And now they've just uh, completely filled in the whole decline and everything, so you can't even see where it is from the surface. We're going to be underground, and we'll show you the decline is underground. So we uh, were able to intercept the original decline um, into the into the mine. Um, so I was going in here. There's a whole, there, like I said, there's a whole bunch of buildings. This is all the assay office and the gold room, and really cool. I and mean, they have a lot of really neat artifacts there. Well worth checking out. They go for 15 bucks or something. You can see all this stuff. Uh, lots of buildings um, you know, right from the stagecoach uh, set up. Like I say, there's brothel, doctor's office, all kinds of period clothing, artifacts, dynamite boxes, everything, uh, uh, you know, you can see associated with mining. It's, uh, they did, like I said, again, they did a really neat job doing this. So we'll just uh, give you a, a quick little flight over here and we'll head underground and I'll you know, show you the really interesting stuff. And they also do weddings and and, uh, and different stuff here. So here's another little shot of the really, uh, really cool. You know, where you see the top of the decline and the winch and all that set up and some other buildings. And we were able to uh, just, uh, they let us camp there and we were able to wander around, look at all the buildings, all the artifacts um, that treat us like rock stars. So uh, thanks to... Uh, to Vulture City for hosting us, and uh, we'll get underground and we'll show you. Again, we're heading down into the uh, into into the nickel shaft. Collar at the top is very rotten, as you can see. Not in very good shape. Not even safe to be too close to it, or it might fall in there. As you can see, it's all sloughing in here. Very dangerous. But we got to show you what it looks like down there. So yeah, so we wanted to go down there and see what's down there. Um, according to the to the to the hoist there it goes down 800 feet so um, but we know that there's levels um, that aren't as deep there's cross cut levels in the top you can see this is all pretty unstable here and they need to it's not in good shape at all so there you go it's the old shaft and looking down once you get down about 10 feet it's fairly solid. I've actually volunteered to do a bunch of work here. And I, I preferred not to go down here until we scared all this. Because look at all this crappy, freaking, uh, really loose rock and all this stuff. And it's not really the safest place to go. It would have been better if they had a piece of equipment here, a hole here. I could have, uh, I volunteered actually to to uh, pull all this material away from there and secure this whole collar and make it safe for the public or whatever. But all of a sudden this is going to be a big problem. So, uh, well, I'm here now. So what the hell, we're just going to go down here and see what we got. So the vulture mine is... <laughs> this is why we're on ropes, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the vulture mine was the biggest gold mine in Arizona. Shut down in 1943 by the Mo War Measures Act. Um, basically, they said that anything that wasn't essential to the war effort should be shut down. So, um, all right, so we, we shot, uh, yeah. Let's get some of the stuff, whatever crap we can get down. It's cool, we got ladders going up, so it wouldn't be a big deal getting back up. Uh, yeah, I'll show you what we got there. So it's actually the collar and everything is in good shape. 
Mm -hmm. This is a deep mine. It's supposed to, this shaft's supposed to go down like 600 feet. Yeah, this is cool. This is the kind of stuff we love doing. It's actually pretty safe. You know, there is a lot of unstable stuff all the way up here. But you got these brakes along here. It's going to make it easy for us to get back up. Bunch of junk there, as you can see. The ladders actually look to be in pretty good shape. Oh, look at all this loose stuff here, though. We're going to try to get this loose stuff out of here. Because we don't want to have to deal with it. We might go down as far as 400 feet. So we don't have any of this stuff all on our heads. As we go further down. There we go. Ah. Alright. I hope we don't put too much dust down there either. It's going to be really easy getting out of here because the ladders are in awesome shape. I don't think, you know, really, you probably wouldn't even need a rope going down, but it wouldn't be very safe not to use one. Yeah, this looks really good so far. This is really safe with these landings because, you know, a rock really can't fall straight down on you. One of these little rocks falls a little ways on you, it's not so bad. But if it goes down, you know, falls down a couple hundred feet on you, a rock that size, it's going to take you out, so... No, I'm not scared about heights. We'll just uh, swing right over the shaft and have a look down. And the only reason we don't go down the shaft, be easier going down the shaft, is because coming back up. If we have the ropes on the ladder, then we can just use the crawl. It's actually harder going down the man way than just going down the shaft, but that's okay. It, uh, going down is never the hard part. Going back up is always the hard part. So. Oh, we love doing this kind of stuff. This is the most exciting mine exploring and not hurt anyone ever does this stuff. I'm not sure they just don't have the, the balls to do it, I guess. It doesn't bother me. People seem to think it's dangerous, but I don't really think it is. You know, I don't know. I think we're kind of being overly cautious by being on ropes going down here, but it's definitely better to be overly cautious than to be dead, eh? We just use the ropes. I mean, you know, I'm an old man, but I want to live a little longer. Don't want to take stupid chances. So there we go. We'll drop that down and we'll chase that. Well, that's what the shaft looks like going down. We're continuing down the ladders. This is the kind of stuff that I live for. I love doing this kind of stuff. And uh, I know you guys think it's crazy and dangerous, but it really isn't. If you have the, the right equipment and the training, then you know what you're doing. So, uh, all right, so we're just going to continue on down. Oh, look at that. Okay, I'm at the bottom of this shaft. So, there's the top of the shaft. It's pretty, uh, just a little under 200 feet deep. Probably about 180 feet deep. We've got a 200 foot rope, maybe 170. And we thought, really, there was nothing else to see. It was kind of disappointing because we didn't see no crosscuts. Um, but um, it looked like there was a bit of a, a raise going up the one side. So I figured, I'll check that out. Probably nothing much there. I was wrong. It opens up into a big stope. So here we are. We're on a safari. So, um, but we checked out this other thing. And uh, there's a raise going up there. It looks like a big stope. So, um, yeah, we're not skunked after all. So let's go up there and see what we can find. That's pretty much all caved in as you can see and you wouldn't think it would actually go anywhere but I thought well I might as well go for a little walk up there and see what I can find but as you can see going through there is not very far through I hope we don't end up putting a bunch of this rock on our equipment I'm just try to pull enough out of the way it's wanting to slide down that we can get in there you can see it looks a lot bigger up there it's not going to be much work to slide some of this stuff down. It wants to slide down. <laughs> it wants us in there. It almost seems like the mine maybe tried to fill this in. And now we're trying to unfill it. It's not going to be much work to get this to slough down enough so we can get in there. Now there's a stope there, so we know how extensive it is. And that's the cool thing about exploring about a mine. You never know what you... 
what's around that next corner. So, all right, so it's a little skinny getting up through here. I mean, I can pull more material out of there, but I don't want to pull any more material than I have to. I can make it up here. This isn't that dangerous because just take your time and don't touch anything because it's pretty unstable there. It's going to be pretty extensive mine and not much work. Okay. Not much work to get down into. Which would be nice. Oh wow. I see a Hercules explosive box. Explosive boxes already. Oh wow. Well don't touch, don't touch anything. Take your time, just don't touch anything because it's really unstable. You don't want to knock a bunch of stuff down on you. You're looking for bodies. We found our first one. One right there. It's a miner's cat. Oh. Oh, there's an ore cart. Hey, nice ore cart, eh? Whoa. <laughs> it dumped down into this ore pass. Well, this is a really cool mine. It was, it was shut down in 1942 because it wasn't essential to the war act and they shut all the mines the gold mines down there and never really operated underground after that oh yeah well lots of levels pretty extensive it's supposed to be 20 miles it's supposed to be 20 miles of track here oh look at this oh wow isn't that neat see they would have screwed them up to hold the back up all right, oh, I have lots of artifacts in here. We've seen a ore cart and jacks. And, yeah. well, apparently, about 15 years ago, anyone can just go in here, but you can't get in here anymore by because they're mining it and they don't let people in here. 1941, <laughs> day shift, a yeah, couple cool. donkeys. <laughs> wow, right? a picture of that. Yeah, that's some pretty neat uh, graffiti there. Miners graffiti. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have a bottom, but I've never got a Hercules one. Beautiful. Nice box. This is the, the wrapping paper from the dynamite. No sticks of dynamite left. What have we got here? Oh, there's some dynamite. Where? Right here. Oh, it all drained out. This part of the sticks is just a little bit of sawdust there. So that's not. This is gel. That's the yeah, dynamite. It's a stick. Oh, that's nice looking. I don't know if there's any gold in there. I'd look if I were you if I was looking for gold. <laughs> See, they have a little valve here. This is where the where the or the gun would have been hooked up to this, right? What? There's the valve, the drill there, the drill for the. Yep, yeah, would have been hooked up to that. No, no, that's air, compressed air. Yeah, everything runs on compressed air. Oh, there's another half a stick of dynamite right here. <clears throat> Hercules. Right. Gabe's gonna have a look up there and see if there's anything interesting up there. Well, we're sure seeing, seeing a lot of artifacts here. I can't believe, you know, like work arts, dynamite boxes, dynamite. Wow. Yeah. Hmm, look at all the graffiti in here. Man, is this ever an awesome mine? That's gonna be big too. Ooh, look at these stalls, are a lot of weight pushing down in here. So you can see all the way through here. <laughs> they loved writing with their carbide lamps, got writing everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Number six. <laughs> That's Lots of timber stuff. Mm hmm. Oh, what the heck is this? What do you think that is? Pretty cool artifact, pretty heavy. <laughs> That's not something you want to bring back, is it? No. Yeah. That's heavy. <laughs> well, this was supposed to have been the, one of the richest gold mines in Arizona, so 20 miles of workings. So lots of places you could get lost. <laughs> Better not say that Gabe, he gets... You get excited. 
This looks like it's all fallen off fairly recently, so the miners never saw this stuff. And Gabe says he sees gold already, so. <laughs> yep. <laughs> all right, right here. Nah. I don't know, it doesn't look too goldy to me, but. Look, it, it's uh, Ben's. Yeah. See that? Doesn't Put your like fingernail gold. in it. it. Looks like something else to me, but. Well, it's gold and I found it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, Frank's out there exploring more. Just going to let you know that anything shiny and sparkly, if you're in a gold mine, is gold. Like this. No matter what Frank says. So this this is real real gold. <laughs> Alright, I better catch up before he leaves and I don't know my way out. <laughs> Everything that glitters is not gold. <laughs> <laughs> well it goes up to a higher level. Does it? Yes. I don't know if we need to go up there. I think we'd rather go down or go down than up. Or, or or just explore this level. We're going to, there's so much stuff to explore as it is. Yeah. I don't think we need to climb up into every little stump. Yeah, we got to remember a little bit which way we came. Okay. It's so yes. met something for history. <laughs> Not very far to fall if it fell. <laughs> Busted stalls in here. Oh, there's another work on it. thing is holding up a lot of weight. Yep. Yeah, this one's empty. There you go, you filled up full of gold. That's an old ore cart too, it's riveted, huh? Yeah. See if you can tip it. No, no tip it that way. Um, undo the lock. There's a lock there. Yeah. Yeah, lift it up. And then there's another lever that you can do to open the... Yeah, there you go. Ha ha ha. Gabe's got some gold he wants to mine out of here. He's gonna fill that cart and then... I don't know how we're gonna get it out. <laughs> You can dump it this way. Yeah, just like the one I got in my museum. You have one of these? The side tipping ore cart. Yeah, similar to that. Oh, it's starting to get hot. I'm sweating. Alright, let's see what other treasures we got here. They went up quite a long ways. So, what they did is they knocked all that rock down yep. into the carts. Yeah, they would probably have to shovel it. Which they don't usually do, but they did in this case. See these pillars? Yep. That's just there to hold the, the back up. So that would have been so the ore. That's what they were going for? Yeah, right that there. would have been the ore bearing material. Yeah. That's gold? Well, there's gold in it, but that's you're talking cool. about you know less than an ounce per ton. So. <laughs> so this appears to be the 200 level of the of the old decline. There's a nice carbide can there. Beautiful. Nice shape. This is miner's lamp. And then Union Carbide would be on the other side. So. Carbide. Yeah, keep turning it. Yeah, Union Carbide. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's a beautiful can. Oh, what do we got here? A bin. Oh, this is the decline. This is huge. This is awesome. We found the decline. So Gabe was just down there, and this is all, it's all flooded. Just below it, it's flooded. There's nothing there to see there, so we can't go any further down. So we're going to follow the decline up, and uh, there's a nice rope here even, not tied up anymore though. There was two declines, so it's hard to say which decline this might be. Looks like a pretty big decline though. Rollers. They're rollers, yeah. Those rollers go inside these, inside there. That's where the, the rollers. Cool. One or two declines where they originally got all the ore out of this mine. But let's plug now. Okay. Yeah, she's just stuck full of rock. Oh, there might be one more level we can get to. Yeah, they filled her from the surface. We're right under the pit, probably. Neat door here. First aid kit. Huh. Well, that's neat. This is where we're gonna have our lunch. Good thing we found the lunch room. Yeah. <laughs> I was getting a bit winded. 
what does it say? Mine private. Private mine? I don't know. It's kind of cool. That's Very obviously dirty. obvious what that's for. Yeah. Um, I was thinking you open it yeah. like that and it fits on the bucket, right? Sure. Yeah, I mean, just right. That carbide thing would make a nice toilet. You want to try it out? Let's stick it in there and see if it fits. <laughs> there you go. There you go. And then put the seat on top of there. Um, oh, that's uh, lime. Lime. Don't get that on your hands. It'll burn you, you know? Oh, really? Yeah, if, you're, if you have water in it. There. Perfect. All right. Barking spiders. Hey, check this out, Frank. It sounds like it goes way down. Be interesting what you got down there. Well, I don't think I can go too far because I'm pretty sure there's water down there. Oh. I guess that stole wasn't too. It's a hollow there, right? Eh? There's like a false floor there. Uh, that gave you a bit of a start, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I keep telling you, don't touch nothing. <laughs> All right, it's good now. <laughs> <laughs> now they got all the loose, loose stalls out of the way. All right. All right. It um. Just a little shot down there. Um. Did you get nasty? A little bit. It's um, pretty nasty, but then it opens up. Don't knock any down. going down. I can't do that. Whoa. Holy smokes. Alright. I'm gonna throw it. I'm gonna throw a rock down there. It's a huge beam. Okay, I need to go back up. Yep. Right. 
little pot there. Then I can squeeze through here where I came. All right, coming back up. So, see me in there? Yeah. Opens up to a big room. Yeah. With dead ends there? Um, no. It gets real scary. Oh, okay. Quiet oh, okay. and stuff like that. <laughs> What's that? It gets real scary and quiet down there. Quiet? Yeah. <laughs> you weren't talking? <laughs> And there's a big room, huge room with a, a pillar. Yep. And then it went into water. Okay, so you're so, out of water. Hey, this ain't bad right here. No. You know, let me see you can wrap your, uh, your hand around it. Yeah, yeah, there's only like a little chunk to go. You wrap that around your hand, you can probably grab it for yourself all the way up there. Maybe you don't even have to. Big bubbles, no troubles. Did it. It always gets scary when you turn that corner. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there we go. It yeah. keeps going? Yeah. Nice. Back to the main hall level here. Oh, is this the way we came? No, that's not the way we came. You're lost, are you? I, I am I'm lost. <laughs> Go over and over we came.